Okay, well this is a continuation of my plant battery experiment and uh, this is heading toward one month and uh, the philodendron battery here is still holding uh, about a volt and a quarter to 1.3 volts when it's unloaded and it's healthy and the uh, plant has grown quite nicely and I see absolutely no deterioration with the plant at all. In fact, it seems to be growing very rapidly. I may have to repot the plant. And I've got the plant hooked up to a little light that uh, it's a circuit that I developed for the plant battery that runs on very, very low amperage. Because even though I've got that voltage, I've got very, very low amperage. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting it into a circuit that pulses very fast spurts of energy to make the LEDs go. And I called it the Phyllis Inverter. And if you go back one video, you'll be able to see this circuit. I'll go a little slow. You can see it here, too. But basically, it's, it's an inverter type of circuit that um, bumps the voltage up and spikes um, coming out here through a high voltage uh, inverter transformer and blinks these, these LEDs. Now, I added one more thing to it. I added an on-off switch using a phototransistor at the bottom of this transistor here. It's just a radio shack. It's a dollar and a half part. It looks like an LED, but it's a phototransistor that when light hits it, it um, uh, conducts uh, electricity. And uh, basically what it does, it shorts out this transistor here and keeps the circuit from oscillating. And I've got it mounted right in there. And it runs on infrared. So you got to remember that the light has to be an infrared light source for it to work. But I'm going to turn this on now and uh, connect this up. And you'll see the voltage dropped down immediately. But it's building back up because the uh, capacitor is building back up in voltage. Now this is actually on now. It's blinking. But with a little flashlight here, I can turn it off just by putting light on that phototransistor. Turns it off. You see the voltage on that capacitor. Now another thing I found out was I can take this big capacitor, which is the one right here in the circuit, and I can put the right supercapacitor in place of it. Now this is a 10 farad 2.7 volt supercapacitor. You want the right size because you want it to fill up during the day. If you get too big of one, it won't fill up. But I want that thing to fill up to about that voltage during the day. And then when this comes on at night, it'll be draining out of that capacitor right there. So let me turn this up a little bit so the blink goes away. That's how I designed this circuit so that you won't be able to see the blink. It's just like your lights in your house are blinking at 60, 60 hertz. Well, this is the same thing. If you get this blink rate right down, it appears to be on all the time. Now, you notice what that did to the voltage. That knocked the voltage down. If I go too far, it knocks the voltage down even further, and these don't come on very bright. So there's a fine point to where you can't see the blink, but you got the bright amount of light. Now when it's on that point, I can still turn it off with my little flashlight here. And what I'll probably do is put uh, this plant, when I get this all boxed up, under a light uh, in the house here, so that at night when I got the lights on, this isn't on, and then when I go to bed, it'll be a nice little night light. And during the day when the sun hits it, I'll have this set up in such a spot that it doesn't uh, it doesn't run during the day and it fills up the supercapacitor. Let me pull this uh, cap out here and I'll put the supercapacitor in which has about a volt in it. And you see the supercapacitor does the same thing. It's the same uh, same scenario. I'll turn it off with the light here. See it blink off. In fact, I can get this light up quite a ways away. That's why I'm sinking a, uh, a table light. Um, if this light was by a lamp on a table, it would turn this on and off quite nicely. Of course, if it's by a window during the day, it's going to turn it off also. 
Now that's the voltage on this supercapacitor right now. It's just kind of sitting there. This is only drawing less than a milliamp right now. Now these are very, very sharp spikes coming off of that oscillator and um, very, very short duration. Tall spikes with short duration. The end product is it doesn't drain very rapidly. But if I crank up on the gain here on this circuit, I can make these come on very, very bright. But it's eating up my juice. So you got to remember that if you want real bright lights, you're going to pay for it. So if you bring this down to where it's just at the right point where you can't see the blink, see the camera frame rate's making this show show the way it's supposed to be. Then the uh, voltage on the cap doesn't change much because remember, Phyllis is adding her two cents to this. So Phyllis is actually supplying a lot of the power on this right now. Um, and this will sit at about that point right there all night long until the next day. And this is what I wanted. I wanted something that I don't have to mess with. I may take those pieces of metal out from time to time and scrape them down, but I don't think they're going anywhere. And it sure isn't harming that plant. And I've got something that's supplying power now and a night light. Anyway, that's what I've got for tonight. Thanks for watching.